Hey, how are you? We're going to have a quick look at while loops in Python. A while loop is a control structure in Python that tests a pre-existing condition. Often the condition is set up prior to the loop. So the syntax of it, or the rules, how you use it, the syntax of a while loop in Python programming language is while, so the keyword while, and then you have an expression. Okay, this expression has to evaluate to either true or false. And then you have a colon at the end, and then you have statements. So the statements can be a set of statements in the second example there. Um, and you will notice that all the statements that are indented are included in the while loop. Okay, so the while loop has a code block underneath it. And the way you define the code block underneath it after the colon is that you indent all the lines. And this white space, this indentation at the beginning of the lines, very important in Python. Okay, so here a statement, maybe a single statement or a block of statements. The condition may be any expression and true is any non-zero value. The loop iterates while the condition is true. So in other words, it will continue going round and round until that loop condition becomes false. Okay, in Python, all the statements indented by the same number of character spaces after a programming construct are considered to be part of a single block of code. Python uses indentation as a method of grouping statements. So as I said, you, after the colon, you need to have an indentation and they all need to be the same. So sometimes you'll get an indentation error. And that's what it's talking about. Okay, let's have a look at a flowchart. Okay, so a while loop can have a pre-existing condition, so you can set the condition up before you hit the pre the, um, the while statement. So the while statement is, the condition is on that line of the while statement, and if it is true, it'll go off and execute the code block, all indented, remember. And then once it's finished executing the code block, it goes around and checks to see the condition again. Now, this condition might get changed inside the code block, okay? And if that condition does get changed and is still true, it will continue. If it does get changed but it is no longer true, in other words, false, then it will go down and execute the next line of code after the indentation has finished. Got it?